Good morning, kindergarten friends. You see me here with my friend Clifford. Now I am gonna read you another Clifford book today. Now this might be the last one for a while because uh, I read one on Wednesday, our first day of school, and I read one yesterday. And so I'm gonna read one today on Friday. And then we might switch up to another uh, book on next week because I don't wanna keep reading Clifford books forever, but I just wanted you to get a taste because I just love Clifford. I have Big Clifford on my lap. Now, you guys know from the TV show and from the books, this is a Big Clifford, but the Clifford really is huge. He's bigger than Emily Elizabeth. He's bigger than the grown-ups. He's bigger than their house, right? But Clifford wasn't always such a big dog, okay? All big dogs start out as what? Little tiny puppies. So look what I have. I also have Clifford the small red puppy. I'm gonna back up a little bit. You see the difference? Okay, this is the small red puppy and here's Clifford the big red dog. So I am going to read you a story today called Clifford. Clifford's first school days. And here he is when he's a little tiny puppy. Hey, you remember what this is called? The title page. It has the exact same thing, the title, Clifford's First School Days. It also has the author and it has the publisher on here. I'm Emily Elizabeth. Every day I ride to school on my dog, Clifford. Clifford is too big to go inside. Wouldn't that be fun? Emily Elizabeth rides to school on Clifford. She doesn't have to come in a car. She rides Clifford like you would ride a horsey. Clifford hasn't been inside of school since he was a tiny puppy. I took him one day for show and tell. Look, here she is. He's eating, they're going to school. He's on a leash. Look at how tiny he is. That doesn't even look like the Clifford we know. All the kids wanted to pet my very tiny puppy. Miss Pearson liked him too, but she said it was time to begin our day. She put out the finger paint. I love to finger paint. I want to put little Clifford on my lap now. Okay, so the teacher's putting out the paint. Now this, there's no paint brushes. You put the paint on the paper and you rub it around with your fingers. Hey, maybe for fun Friday today, you guys can do that. Clifford got right up on the table. He sniffed the yellow paint. Oh my, the jar tipped over. <laughs> Look what's happening. He's crawling all over the table. He dips over the yellow jar of paint. Clifford found out that paint is very slippery. <laughs> Miss Pearson said Clifford was a good artist. He made a beautiful yellow picture. So there he did. He was kind of walking over the paper the uh, paint is all over his paws and he's painting a beautiful yellow picture. Good job, Clifford. We couldn't leave Clifford all covered with paint. Miss Pearson thought that some water play might be a good way to get him clean. So what they have is outside, they have a water table. At Tuscany Hills, we have a water table in our kindergarten playground. We put toys in it. They're gonna put Clifford in there because he needs to take a bath and get all that paint off of him. Tim had made a boat out of a milk carton. Clifford was a perfect captain for the boat. Here he is. There's a boat and Clifford's so tiny, he's gonna take a little ride on the boat. Captain Clifford climbed the mast to look around and that's how we got the paint off. So he climbs up on top and he falls over and then he gets all wet and he gets all clean, right? He gets a little bath. Miss Pearson dried him off. She said we were going to make cookies next and Clifford should watch. That would keep him out of trouble. They're making cookies at their school. While Miss Pearson rolled out the cookie dough, Clifford got curious about the bag of flour. Boys and girls, you know what flour is, right? Okay, it's white, it looks kind of like sugar, but it's a little pow more powdery. He gets up into the bag. What do you think is gonna happen? I want you guys to make a prediction before I turn this page. I bet you can guess. Oops, Clifford made another mess. He's 
climbing up the bag and you guessed it, he tipped it over. What a big mess. All over the floor, all over Clifford. Miss Pearson said it might be a good idea for Clifford to play outside. We will all went out to the playground. I thought Clifford would enjoy the slide. Emily Elizabeth is taking Clifford down the slide with her friends. He wiggled out of my hands and went down the slide by himself. Now, if you see, he got away from Emily Elizabeth. He's going down the slide and he's falling into, can you see what that is? Can you tell where he's falling? If you guessed it, sandbox. He landed in the sandbox. We helped the kids rebuild their sand castle. The kids were making a, a sand castle and Clifford dipped it over, huh? It was just an accident. They just built it again. We also have a nice sandbox at Tuscany Hills. We made Clifford the king of the castle. He loved that. Then it was lunchtime. Here he is on top of the sand castle. And here he is at lunchtime. I shared my sandwich and dessert with Clifford. He gobbled up his sandwich, but he didn't know how, how to eat the dessert. I'm just gonna show you this page. What that is, is jello. Do you guys know how slippery and wiggly jello is? He can't seem to get a hold of it. Every time he grabs it, it slides out of his hand. This is a funny book, isn't it? Poor Clifford. He chased the wiggly cubes all over the floor. The other kids thought that was funny. I'm gonna show you this picture. I think that's really cute. Everyone's laughing at him. Do you think you would laugh at Clifford if you were there? I think I would. I think I'd be cracking up, right? Miss Pearson said it was time for Clifford to go home and have a real lunch. She told me to bring him back to school when he was a little bigger. She should see him now. <laughs> What do you think Miss Pearson would see? Think of Clifford if Emily Elizabeth brought Clifford to school. I don't think Clifford would even fit in the classroom, would he? All the children would have to come outside on the playground to see him. Well, I really enjoyed that Clifford book. So you know what? Since this is the last day, it's Friday. Um, this is optional, boys and girls. But I would love it if you um, drew a picture of Clifford and told me the favorite part of your favorite part of the story. You might like the the part when he got paint all over him, or when he uh, went in the in the water table to clean up, or when he uh, was. Uh, falling around in the jello. So whatever your favorite part, you can draw a picture. If you wanna to try to get creative on Seesaw, I think there's even a spot where you can draw a picture and use a toolbar and use you know your finger to draw the picture. And you can even, I think, record a little message. You can say, my favorite part of the story is when Clifford uh, met the kids or played on the playground, okay? And, or you could have mom and dad write that, the message, what your favorite part was. I am leaving this completely optional and completely open because when I do that, you guys will be creative. Um, and I know it's Friday, some of you guys might be heading to the beach, so if that's an activity you wanna wait and, uh, and, and wait till Monday, it's completely up to you. But I want you guys to uh, enjoy the story, enjoy your day, and have a really nice weekend, okay? Bye-bye, boys and girls.